Okay, so we're back on the big site today. A few bits to catch up on. Obviously, we didn't get a chance on the last video because they were floating the mez floors in the evening. So Clayton stayed late and got all of that covered. So we'll show you a bit of that in a minute. We have grouted in the, the bases of the stanchions that are holding the staircases up. We still have not got an answer yet exactly what is happening stud work wise. But like I said before, we know that it's not gonna be block work on the underside now. So we can at least carry on with the groundworks inside the building. So spin round. So then what we've had to do now inside is we've installed now the water. So the water's coming into this corner here and at the minute it's just temporary piped up. Right in the corner, we've got two toilet blocks to build on top of the slab when that's in. So we've got the poo pipe over in the corner as well, that's in. And then the customer wanted additional points down the length of the building for a number of reasons. One, I think they want a toilet or something or a sink at the far end. So again, that needs to be piped up water-wise and poo pipe. And then there was two points down the length of the building. So should, let's say, anything change in the future, they've got the ability to put a wall across the middle of the building and split the unit up and rent the two halves out. So either like a retirement portfolio where you've got two rental properties or whether they just want to use half and rent the other half out, they've got all the options there if all that infrastructure is already in. So we've sailed that through, put that in, we've plotted it all so it's all on the system ready for the handover pack. And now we've pulled the final trim through the floor and all we've got to do now is layer this up with the sand, the visqueen, the insulation, and then it's ready for concrete. So at the minute, I'm hoping in about a week and a half's time, there's a slot, if the weather's with us, because we don't want it too cold, that we can get this floor poured. It's going to be poured in one, but there's a K-form joint in the middle, like a construction joint. So a little bit like on the top where we put expansion joints in and we cut them in afterwards. This is a construction joint so that it allows for movement the other way around. So I'll leave you with a quick look back at the mezzanine floors going in and the screening and the floating and we'll meet outside in a minute. So we are still pumping water off the site at the minute. We've had a couple of days of half decent weather. And then last night it decided to send us a tropical downpour, which has completely trashed everything again. But the next three days are forecast to be windy and dry and sunny. So what we're doing is we're pumping that water off now, trying to get rid of it, clear this up again. And ultimately where we're struggling now is we're pathering because we're having to use the site for the Trent 2 building for storage of materials for all the drainage, all the stuff for the road, the stuff for this building for our customer. And what we need to do now really is make a compound elsewhere so that we've got the ability to crack on with this site as well as making a start on that site and getting that drainage sorted and finished off. Then obviously we can work our way down the road, put the attenuation pond in, which I'm desperate to get in, like I said before, because all of this water is held and the only way of getting rid of it at the minute is pumping it off. So we're pumping every day, but it's a nuisance. So what we're going to do for the next two or three days is we're going to try and make a little bit of a route through the old railway line. We want to take a section of that out because it interferes with where the road is coming. And then basically we can set ourselves a compound just round the back here, out the way, that that could stay there for the duration of the first half of the whole development process on this site. So you can start to see now the road where it's coming through, running parallel with the Trent site and is also parallel then with the end of this building for our customer. That's going to come up and through. There's various points in which it tees off that side, but ultimately this massive mound of railway line is in the way. I want the compound to be up there. So what I think we need to do is so that we can finish off this site and the road to a junction point where it's not interfering with what we're developing on this side of the site, we need to take this area out here 
we can then finish off all around this front. We can get that road put in to a point here and we can have our compound over there behind you, which ultimately will service the entire from the oak trees all the way around and the rest of the development site on this side, which is pretty much just under half of the 23 acre site we've got. So they're just fueling me the big 21 tonner up now um, and greasing it for me. And then I'm gonna jump on that this afternoon. I'm gonna make a track through here so that we can get the machinery up onto this, make us a bit of a route through. So this material here is to form the landscaping bund, an acoustic bund that goes all the way around the site. So if you remember at the back of the site, I think I mentioned before, we've got the canal and from the canal, they wanted a 20 meter buffer bund made out of obviously the material that we've excavated and moved finished off and seeded up with an acoustic fence on the top so ultimately this material here the shortest route for us is to get rid of it to there and start forming that bun working away along because the site is so wet over on that side we've got to use this as a bit of a runway at the minute because the railway line is higher ground and ultimately a lot drier so we can use it so I'm going to go and jump on the 21 now. I'm going to drag that up here, make a start, ready for the weekend. We've got guys in today, tomorrow and Sunday. So we will leave you guys with a massive on the big site montage. And if you like what you've seen, hit subscribe, ring the bell. We'll catch you next time. Cheers.